Oh, hi class. I didn't see you there. My name is Mark, and today we're just going to be doing a little experiment known as the calcium and water station in your lab today. And first, we're going to start off by looking at our products, what we have for our station. But the most important one we should really look at is safety, which is number one within all chemical experiments. So firstly, as you know, I have a lab coat on. It's for protecting my body from all the other chemicals. And secondly, I have my goggles, which are really important for, protect, for protecting our eyes, as you will need them in this experiment. So as I said before, our station is known as the calcium and water station. And today, I'll just be telling you what the ingredients are for using in our station, and I will show you how we're going to go through this um, experiment. So first, as you can see, I have a small beaker. Now this beaker is a regular beaker, it's glass, it's normal. Secondly, we have calcium metal. It is a regular metal down in your periodic table. Third, we have our tweezers. We will be using this for extracting a very important indicator. Fourth, we have our scoopla. Now, where we put our thumb here is where we'll be extracting the calcium from our bottle and placing it into our beaker. And lastly, we have our red litmus paper. Now this is very important in class because I want you to note what actually red litmus paper does. So keep that in mind. So first we'll start off by filling the beak with water. Here we are, just regular tap water folks. Secondly, we'll be placing our calcium within the water and stirring it up a little to get it going. So here we are, my thumb on the scoop, right there. Here we are, class. This is how calcium looks like. So I'm placing it within the beaker, and I'm going to simply be using my tweezers and stirring it within, within the beaker. Here we are. Now that the calcium is freshly diluted within the water, we're going to be placing our red litmus paper. So, because I hope you study what red litmus paper was, because it's going to be very important in this experiment. So, as you can see, I'll take my regular tweezers and extract the litmus paper. Here we are. This is red litmus paper, which I'll be placing within the beaker. There we go, and I'm just going to give it a little bit of a stir to see what happens. Now class, do you notice anything strange within the beaker? My red litmus paper that was once red is now blue. Look class, very interesting, oh my goodness. Now, if you study what that litmus paper does, we know it's an indicator, and I hope you know what blue indicates. Thank you for watching this experiment.